Hello and welcome back and that's right today I want to do a very quick video on the difference between cameras with AI assisted recognition and NASes that have got AI deep video analysis. You might be on the verge of buying a new surveillance setup for your home or business needs and you've heard the word AI being thrown around quite a lot and how it will make things easier for you and your surveillance setup. But when you start looking into it and particularly looking at Synology, you suddenly find out that AI splinters in two very different directions and you may not know which one or indeed maybe both is best suited to your environment. And that's what today's video is about. So real quick, AI level surveillance is ultimately in its chief goal to allow you to get more intelligent and useful information from a surveillance setup. Time was you go back about a decade, you'd have a bunch of cameras knocking around your home or business environment and they'd be on 24 seven. You'd have to have some Paul Mark Blorcop just sat there looking at the recordings, waiting for someone to do something dodgy. Then things moved forward and then they went for motion. So you'd have cameras that when everything was still and something moved, the camera would go, right, something happened there but the problem is lots of things move small dogs children trees in the wind and therefore motion detection is inherently unreliable because different scenarios and different setups waver so wildly therefore that's when ai level stuff came in and in between that there was a lot of stuff to do with using pir and lots of infrared stuff but even then all that did was detect degrees of motion. Where AI comes in is understanding whether it is a live AI, AI or using preset recognition that's already configured into the surveillance equipment is understanding what it is that is moving. Now, again, it breaks into many different areas that we'll touch on in a bit, but that's ultimately it. AI, when it's utilized in surveillance, is about knowing what is moving. And therefore, Paul Mark Ball Cop, and why can I never remember his name? But the mind is the only weapon that doesn't need a holster. And therefore, you don't need to have someone watching the camera 24-7, because what you want is to know when someone's breaking in. You don't want to know when a tree falls down in the forest, if anyone heard. You just want to know if a car has entered the car park after hours. You want to know whether someone has approached the building when they shouldn't, or they've gone to an area in the building that they shouldn't, and that's where it all comes in. And ultimately, what separates edge level AI recognition and host and analysis based AI recognition. Now, when it comes to the edge stuff, it's called edge because it's the edge, it's where the cameras are. Now, Synology's own cameras here take advantage of that. Their recognition knows the difference between people and vehicles. And ultimately what that means is you can have a camera monitoring the in or outside of a business and then it will know when a human enters an area. You can say, the rest of it's fine, but if they go to this area in the building, in the car park, in the foyer, I want to know. And if a ball rolls across there or a box is there, you don't want a notification for that. It might be a window and it's a reflection or something. You want to know when a person goes there. The same goes when it's outside the business after it's closed. You want to know if a car has pulled up outside the building, but if some rando is walking past, you don't care. Also, you might want to know if that rando, that chap that's walking across, stays there. Having people walking outside of a building is fine, but what if they stop? You want to know why they've stopped. What are they doing? Again, Edge level AI recognition allows that to happen, thanks to that. And the same thing goes, an area that's got one or two people, fine. But you want to know when several people appear. All of that is made possible thanks to edge level recognition, where the camera can feed that information to the system, and then it can interpret those alerts. It doesn't care about motion. It wants to know about specific types of motion there. And Synology's cameras that have got that edge level recognition support all of that. So... With that in mind, what could this DVA appliance, the DVA1622, why would I want to buy that? What is that bringing to the party that that can't do? Well, this has all of that, okay? So rather than edge level AI recognition, it's host AI recognition. All of that is being done in the system. Now, the number of tasks you can run do differ depending on whether you go for the 600 dicker model or the two and a half gram model. But basically, anything with the exception of one thing that these cameras can do, this system can do internally without relying on the cameras. But it also has an extra little ace up its sleeve, and that is it can recognize of humans and cars, but it also has a database it can sequence against live. So 
knowing if people are walking outside, if they're loitering outside, if they're walking to a certain area, or if they go over a certain intrusion zone or a line that you've drawn on the feed, is great. But what about if it's someone who's allowed to come to the building? What if it's someone in a car that is allowed on the premises, or you want to know when a certain member of staff has arrived at the building, and you want to know whether that person was in that area at that period in time in the past? That's where this comes in, because it can maintain a database of those people. This knows the difference between a person and a car, but this knows the difference between Alan in sales, Beatrice in HR, and Colin in accounts. It understands the difference, and when someone new arrives that's not on the database, it will then alert the surveillance officer or the admin, someone new's here. Do you want to add them to the database or not? Same goes for cars. It can recognize that with cars and license plates more precisely. Consequently, whereas these cameras understand that difference between those two objects, this has a memory with which you can retrieve that information live. And therefore, it will narrow down the potential useless alerts even more into very specific alerts that are tailored to your needs for good or for bad. And on top of that, you have got counting and recognition of those numbers. So if you want to know during a fire alarm, for example, how many people entered the building that day and how many people left when there was a fire alarm, this will tell you. That will just tell you people walked into the building and people walked out. That will tell you 38 people went in and 37 left. And therefore, you know there's still one more person in that building. But moreover, because of the database, you know who that person is. That's where deep video analysis comes in. And it's just simply not possible on these because you need a tremendous, not only database to keep that information in that's going to grow over time, but the retrieval speed in order to access it live. And that is the main difference between edge level AI recognition on cameras and a deep video analysis machine. I hope you found this video helpful. I tried to keep it as concise as possible. Let me know if it helped you in the comments. But apart from that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.